Hello YouTubers, my name is Wazmi and I'm about to bring you my very first YouTube video I have ever made. It is going to be about how to make an item spawn an entity. And if you've never done any modding, a great place to go is Youth Digital. I'm going to show you the place right here. You type up Youth Digital, it'll bring you to this. You click Mod Design 1 Courses. And after this, you'll see all these courses that you can take about how to make a pick or sword, or food, blocks, entities, armor, more entities, food, blocks, all sorts of stuff. And but for now I'm going to show you how to code the item. For starters, you're going to go all the way over here to Minecraft, open that, source, then you're going to go my mod, then you're going to go to main.java, open that up cuz we're going to use that eventually. Then you open items cuz it's an item that we're making, it's a item. So, click on that, create a new class. This one's going to be called my staff. Actually, I'm going to call it my test, test staff, so that it doesn't get mixed up with the others or something. This is a Minecraft class. Classes tell other, uh, tell the item how to act and stuff like that. But for now, we're, I'm going to just create that class, and now that I've created it, if you have mod design, then you will have templates, code, items these are just templates so then you don't have to type all the code yourself they give you templates of how it works so up uh, templates code items sword cuz this is sword we're going to open up that we're going to do the, we're going to open up the main and the sword class the sword class we're going to command cop a command copy then we're going to go my test staff or whatever you called it command a command paste and now we're just going to there is an error don't worry well you can if you want just rename it and it's going to be called my test staff so you change that it'll give that up and if you just it'll give that option if you just hover over it it'll give that option then you go into my sword main everything in my sword main goes in main.java except for these so for this you're going to select it all right there command copy then go to the load section because I copied it from the load section paste it then you're gonna select everything from the declare section copy that go to the declare section paste it in there paste then there will be errors so just wait then you wanna get the recipe so then you have a recipe for it command copy which is command C scroll down then I'll paste it right about here. Yeah, that works. Well, actually, let's do like here. Paste that. Then we're going to scroll up to the declare section. Change this. See, there's an error with them both because I already have a sword one. But I'm going to change this to my test staff. I don't have a test staff, that's why it's not giving me an error now. And then I'll scroll down to the. Where is it? There. Um, it's right here. Okay, so change this right here. Wait, no, this. I'll change this to test staff, so delete that. Then I'm going to change that to command uh, capital T. E S T staff. There. Now instead of just typing on every single one and by accidentally making a uh, mistake on one of them, I'll just copy that. Command C. Paste it here. Paste it here. Paste it here. And paste it here. Then paste it here. And this is the last one. Delete these. Then they will have an error. You need to import it. Import test staff. Then you're going to change this. This is just the name in Minecraft, so you could change this to whatever. Ta ta or whatever. And it would be fine. 
because that's not going to cause an error no matter what you type in there. But I'm just going to type in test step. In here, right here, it will cause an error if you do not change these if you already have an item. If I, you have an item like and this is uh, a thunder staff. If you copy, if you take this and it's like the exact same words, it will cause an error because of the letters. But I'm going to change it to 34 because I have it up here. Then, right now, if I ran Minecraft, it would work. See, if I wanted to check if it worked, I just go up here and it says run client. That's what I want to click on. Then it'll show this. Do you want to save it? Yes, I do. So hit OK. Wait for it to load. And it's loading now. Now I'm going to create a new world. Creative. Now, in this, if you hit E, and right now type up here, test, test, Oops, sorry about that. Uh, remember how I told you not to have that number? I had that number exactly as one of my other items. That's why it didn't show. But now it shows. See if I type test. There it is, right there. Test staff. Right now, it only acts like an iron sword. So it would slaughter anything like an iron sword would. Instead of like having it too hundred hits with your fist. See, it just would take a lot longer, but the sword, it actually does act like a sword. It's as strong as a sword. If you're wondering the reason why it's pink and black like that, that's just because I didn't give it a texture yet, and we'll do that in a second, so exit, quit, and let's get back to modding. Now, since we've already used these, my sword class, we're gonna exile that so we don't change anything, so I have a fresh tab whenever I want to use it. Close out of those. Test staff. I'm not sure if we're done in that yet. Close out of these. But another cool thing with Youth Digital is it gives an image thing too. So you open up that. I'm going to click on this. Command copy, which is Command C. Go into Assets. Go into My Mod Textures. Go into Items. Select Items. Command paste. Uh, yes. No, I don't. I'm. Oops, sorry. You got pasted somewhere in here. Whether it's on one of these. Oops. Whether it's, whether it's on one of these or something. Command V. Okay, let's paste that in there. Command V. Paste it. It'll say, "Do you want to create a copy of this?" No, you don't. So you want to change this to my test staff or whatever yours is. Then hit OK. Then we're going to open that up. And we're going to change it up a bit. Make it look a little different so that we don't have two that look identical. I'm not going to waste time on look, making the picture look good, so basically you can do that if you want, but I'm not because I'm just not, so I'm just going to grab my picture and just change the blade look on it, just make it look black. There. Then I'm going to Command Export, which is Command E. Export, you want to replace the, the tester staff because otherwise it's going to look like the same one. So replace that, Export. X out of that. So now if you want you can run up here and it will say run client. Click that and let's wait for it to open. Create a new world. 
I always make them on creative. Now let's open our inventory. Inventory. Oh, it's not going to be in there. It's going to be in here. Test. There it is. The black sword. So, it works just like a normal sword, iron sword right now. But we're going to change that. So, X out of this. Now I'm going to make it so that it spawns the entity app when you right click it. So, I already have some pre-made code right here. Double click that. Oops, that was the PNG. Sorry. Totally did not see that. It's X out of assets, so I don't do that again. It's in my mod lifestyle. It's right here. Let's open that one up. Here it is. Right, I'm just gonna command A everything, command copy, then I'm gonna command A, command paste. Then, as you see, we have some errors. I'm going to change this to change package description to my mod items. Then, I'm going to change this to test staff. Well, this right here is the code that allows it to spawn the entity on right click. Oh, oops, sorry. It's right here. Almost missed that. And on right click. Right now, it's spawning a cow. So... I'll just delete this. I'll just delete those so you don't have to bear the pain of looking at my cow. It looks really bad. But so this will spawn a normal Minecraft cow. If you had it like say how I had it, my Minecraft cow, my cow, it would spawn my cow, the one that I created. Another description, another uh texture of what I made. See right here in cow I created one perfect model render. They'll teach you how to do that. YD is really nice for that. But for right now, we'll just spawn a normal Minecraft cow. But right now, it's a normal sword that spawns a cow, which is really cool. And this is the XYZ coordinates where it spawns. So let's run Minecraft and check that. Not So. Waiting for this to load. Create a new world. Okay, so now if we go into our compass and test, there it is. The beautiful sword that can spawn a cow. Moo. And it's a normal sword, and you get your normal stuff, except spawns cows. So you could do this for a long time and just go crazy. But anyways, thank you, and see ya. This is my first time. Hope you enjoyed it. Bye. Oops, sorry. Forgot one last thing. You gotta scroll down to the bottom. You can change this, but I, I'm gonna just change this just so then I know that it's ready to go. This is a the recipe for it, I'm gonna change the recipe so it looks a little different. So we gotta change the name. It's gonna be my test staff. Oops, that's not how you spell staff. Then that should work. No, it's used in two blaze rod and a stick. So let's see if this works. Let's hit E. Go into crafting table, get some a crafting table over here, grab a stick. Two blaze rods, place that down, create this sword. There it is. Well, thanks guys. Bye.